They were growing apart, each with their different opinions, each feeling strongly about the path they should take. But there was more to it than a simple disagreement. Since entering Hassa, their emotions had become amplified. With hindsight, I wish that I could have warned them of what was ahead, but I returned to each piece of destiny with no memories, lest I should unwittingly alter their path. Now, only they could determine their course. The future of mankind now hung by the tenuous threads of Rao and Tati's fraying relationship. Tati, my queen, I have been waiting for you. I am here to kill you, maybe see. Nothing more, nothing less. Really? Before you kill me, Tati, why don't you listen to what I have to say? Like you, I was marked. I too was hunted, scorned, and shunned by those around me. Cast out and resented, hated, and feared. The Rakus took me into their numbers to protect me. <laughs> they have no idea the power that these markings possess. Protect me! It should be us protecting them! I fought with them. I argued that we should use the spells for ourselves. Armed with this ancient magic, nothing would stand against us. Nothing would dare oppose us. They didn't listen. They told me that the marks were evil. That they had the power to manipulate. That they could blacken and change a man's heart. Ooh, scary stuff, Tutty. Evil that will manipulate you if you listen to it. Oh. <laughs> kind of stuff you tell kids if you want them to do what they're told, maybe. The sort of stories you might come up with if you were, say, jealous. The sort of things you would say if you wanted to control something that you fear. So I betrayed them. I told the Kasai where their secret fortress was. I told them when and where to strike. Now, the Kasai, they listen to you. We come from lines of nobility destined to rule the land, Tati. We are marked, but not cursed, blessed. How else would you explain your awakening powers? No one will ever understand you more than I. We are the same, Tati. <gasps> Child, do you pay no heed to the prophecies of your own kind? Do you not understand that many destinies are overlapping here today? It is my destiny to free a god. It is your destiny to rule by his side. It is our destiny to unite the three kingdoms under the Kasai. <gasps> so... I guess this all comes down to one simple question, Tati. You will join us and fulfill your destiny. Or you will stay with the Rakus and fall with the last of them here today. You have uh, one minute to decide. We are not the same, Maybisi. You are a slave to your destiny, but I am free to choose my own. I bend to no prophecy. I am master of my own fate. I will never be queen. I will never unite the three kingdoms, and I will never be Kasai or Rakus. I am Tati Utu, sister to Rao Utu, adopted daughter of Baumusu, and I choose my own path. Prepare to die, sorcerer! Very well. The Rakus end here, today. Now I will free Kree. 
and be his host in this world.
And so, at last, my journey was over. This had been the fracture. This was the point where fate had stumbled and the Kasai intervened. But Rao did not die at the hands of his sister, and treachery did not once again splinter the Rakus. The Oracle's work was done, and destiny had been corrected. Maybisi, Lord of the Kasai, lay slain and his army scattered. The three kingdoms were released from Hassa's cold grasp, and the spells restored to their rightful place. Through her mark, Maybisi had been poisoning Tati's mind, working to turn her against Rao and finally defeat the Rakus. But Tati was strong, and the blood of her forefathers ran thick in her veins. All the darkness in the Three Kingdoms could not turn her against her brother. They were both of the line of Uto and legends in the making. Please. 